Well, Ryan, man, good to see you. <laughs> yeah, this is different. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought we should do something because Motley Crue's got a new song. It's the first new song by them in a long time, Dogs of War. We've heard a little snippet. Uh, wasn't overly impressed, were you, with the snippet? <laughs> No, not yet. <laughs> I, hope, I, I want to be impressed, but I don't know if I'm going to be. The hard part, too, you know, like you're kind of excited because like John Five, new member, it's always kind of interesting. What does a new member bring to it? You're kind of hoping like, will this band get their shit together and like make something that sounds classic? But Motley has this tendency to like try to be modern, but they, I don't even think they know what modern is anymore. I think they think modern happened like, you know, 10, 15 years ago. They try to replicate that kind of modern rock sound and it just doesn't work. I know. I I really like John Five's guitar playing. I hope that they're not going for the the typical we want to be extra hard metal versus just yeah. killer melodic party rock. I don't know, man. Like right. like we we've said a million times, if we could just get that primal scream feel, I'd be okay with it. I know, I know. <laughs> and with our with our backgrounds, like you look like you're in the barracks. I'm in the northern lights. I know, lights. yeah. When That's I when I see northern yeah. lights it makes me want to listen to TNT and I have a feeling like that TNT would be better than this Motley Crue song, but I'm not going in. <laughs> Absolutely. With a bad I, I am. I mean, I, I am basically in the old little, the little army barrack fire station that we get as our dorm room here. So I'm just yep. getting off shift and uh, <laughs> that's what we got to do. So two things they said, they said that it's wicked heavy. Right. And the, and I heard John five said, Oh, this could fit perfectly on Dr. Feelgood. Yeah, right. We'll see judge. about that. All right, man. Uh, Cue it up. Cue it up. Okay, here we go. First listen, I have not cheated. This is my Either. very first Either. time. Okay, the words were just about to start. Right, okay, so to me, it sounds like Shout 97, kind of what they did with that song. Like, that is the direction they're kind of going. To me, I already think this is not my Motley Crew. Just yeah. like 94 and Generation Swine, 94 is great hard rock, but it ain't my my hard rock or my Motley. Yep. So far, so far, this is way too hardcore metal than... Yeah. Motley Crew. The strange thing for me, and I'm listening through your device basically, is that that little guitar lick almost reminded me a little bit of ACDC though, like Thunderstruck. Yeah, kind yeah. I, I think if they would have kind of gone with that so far and not the hard underlying right, rhythm. Yeah. 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 So. Tom, Tommy's drums sound cool. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. for sure. <laughs> they right, always let's, do. Let's see how Vince right, here, is sounding. Here, oh, here, let's see how auto he is. <laughs> yeah, here comes our boy. So I, f I feel like there's like, it's as if there's like, you're walking by a construction site and there's like a bunch of skill saws running in the background. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> there's, there's just too much shit in the background, dude. Like it kind of like, I liked the, 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 I think it was the bridge, like the kind of the whoa, woes, the oh, oh's, yeah. the big, big chorusy stuff. And then 
the chorus would have been cool had it not been for all the chaos in the background to me. The the verse is weird. Like it, yeah. it didn't really sound once again, I'm not listening through like through my own device. I'm listening through yours, but the verse sounded strange to me. When it first started, it didn't even sound like Vince Neil singing to me. And it right. just sounded like strange. I don't know. It just didn't feel like Motley Crue. Well, then I started to hear him a little bit like, okay, yeah, this is Vince, but um, yeah, yeah I'm just, I mean, it's okay. I'm not like blown away. No, exactly. All right. First two. This is the weird part of God. This sounds just weird. Very Vince, yeah. uh, Vin, Vince Neil exposed. <laughs> Very right, Vince Neil so, exposed, but hmm. yeah, give me some feedback. Tell me what you give it a numeric rating and what, whatever you think. Um, dude, I mean, it's cool that it's new Motley. I obviously love the guitar solo, that was shredding. That was that was some good shit. Um, okay, let's put it this way if you put on All in the Name of Rock or 10 seconds to love. I can't help but sit here and react with my head going back and forth. Like, oh yeah. This, the ba -na -ba, ba -na -ba, ba -na -ba -na, that's just, it It doesn't look good on Motley Crue. I don't, I, they're never going to be the, the, the hard ass band that Nikki and Tommy have wanted to be since 92. And it's just, I don't know. Short a new tattoo. They haven't impressed me for a long time. <laughs> you know, I was driving in the car the other day and I was thinking about us doing this. And I thought to myself, I was like, have they really done a true Motley Crue song since like Primal Scream? You know what I mean? Like, like I feel like yeah. new tattoo was cool, but it was like wannabe. Like they were trying so hard to replicate the sound <laughs> and it didn't really succeed. The yeah. guitar solo yeah, it was cool, but di didn't it not feel like Motley Crue? What made it feel like, you know what I mean? Like, I guess this is new Motley yeah. Crue, new guitar player. but And I would make my guy shred if I had, like, a new dude in there. But I was, you know, I was missing that Mick Mars slide guitar. You know, just like that bluesy shit, weird shit. You know, that that's what makes it Motley Crue. His, the way he plays a riff and the way he does a solo. So you take that out of the mix. How about, down, down. Like, I'm like, <laughs> like, 
this sounds weird. <laughs> Every time it came on, I like had a smirk on my face because I'm like, this is just so strange sounding. Like there's so many weird melodies that don't feel like even like rock. I don't know. They just I don't know what they feel. They just don't feel right. Like there's weird, there's some weird uh, melodies for me in this that just don't feel like Motley Crue, don't fit in with anything. If it was me, I hate to sound like an old, old head. That's what the young people call it. Dude, <laughs> I would have went back to basics. But real raw, tried to replicate yeah. like a shout at the devil, girls, 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 something like that. Um, no, I mean, I'd give this maybe like a seven or something like that. That's about all I can give it. I'm, I'm going to listen oh, yeah. to a couple more times, see if it grows on me. I could see like that chorus could kind of grow on you because it's pretty repetitious. But one thing I hate, man, they don't say dogs of war in the song. Right? I didn't hear it. Did they say it? I don't know. Hmm. It's not in the chorus. No, I don't think so. But. Yeah, like John Five sitting here preaching, like, let's bring back some theater of pain songs and the tour and let's be this guy and that, you know, let's be more like that. And this to me, like, I, it just screams, I miss Mick Mars, who also released an incredibly hard album that I'm like, dude, what are you doing? You know, let's put it this way. Like, like Motley Crue either. This, <laughs> no, there's, this came out today. The Bon Jovi uh, documentary on Hulu comes out today. And a Richie Sambora solo song came out today and I did listen to that and I like it more. And it's like almost contemporary. It's like, you know, it's like stranger in this town music compared to like eighties Bon Jovi, but it sounds true to form. It's like, Hey, that's, he still got a great voice. It sounds true to form. And he, he stayed in his lane. This is not staying in your Motley Crue lane. So I don't know what they achieved out of this other than, self praise for hey i came up with a real hard song but and it, i don't think it's going to appeal to a lot of the old fans my question is what do they listen to like you know like, like you know like <laughs> you know, you know, that's all gonna, like you know when somebody like is on a, a kick like they listen to a lot of like rolling stones or acdc yeah. and they come out with something that has that vibe like what yeah. the hell are they listening to to create something like this i don't know i mean is it like Almost feels like there's some nine inch nails, like industrial vibe, right? You know what I mean? Like that's, that's exactly way, it. We're way past that kind of shit. Like I said, yeah. for their for their band, where they are in their career, they really should stay in their lane, and yeah. they haven't. And I'm not trying to discredit somebody for trying something different, but what you're hearing is this like the, some original thing that your ears never heard before. Like I said, we've already placed like we could we could hear nine inch nails doing this, or like, like you said, yeah. a little bit of that ACDC thing, but it wasn't enough to make it feel like rock, rock, you know, like straight up classic yeah. rock. Right. I don't know, man, I'm going to give it a couple more spins, but um, it's like kind of like opening the Christmas present and getting clothes instead of a toy, you know? <laughs> exactly. I just like, <laughs> Cool. I needed those the socks yeah. and underwear, but you know, I wanted like a really cool <laughs> ripper, you know. So yeah, yeah. Well, man, well, I'm glad we got to do this. Um yeah. hey, people, tell us what you think in the comments, what you think of this song. If you want us to do some reviews of some other songs, send us some songs that maybe we've never heard. I, I would love to review them. And something yeah. you should review, which is a classic hard rock 80s vibe song, something like Motley Crue should do, is a song that me and Ryan did called Heavy Metal Rambo. And I'll put a link in this video. So make sure you check that out because when you listen to that, you will know what we've been listening to. We've been listening <laughs> to Kane Roberts and uh, Europe and Motley, old Motley Crew and, uh, and Rat and all that shit. So you're going to get the old school vibe there. This, yeah. you know, I don't know what they've been listening to, but I think the key, bring in some outside writers that, that know how to write the old school sound. You know what I mean? Because I don't think these guys know how. I don't think they've done it since 91. <laughs> Really? No. Successfully. Exactly. Not successfully. Exactly. Well, nope. All right, brother. Well, this was fun, man. Appreciate you. Yeah. Of course. That was great. All right. Have a good one. Take care.